Good morning, my kind of war friends. Out again today, walking. Uh, a few bugs out here. It's gonna be a hot one today. I wanted to talk about uh, diabetes and and do I have it? Uh, in January of this year, um, my blood results on my A1C came back at 6.7. Uh, so they told me I needed to get that down, that number down some. So um, I started this carnivore diet knowing that it, it probably would go down. And uh, well, they say that the, anything above 6.5, and this is going on the, the literature that came out in the lab results that uh, anything I think it's above 6.5 is considered uh, pre-diabetic. So I was already at 6.7 and probably on my way to being diabetic. Well, I got my lab results back a couple of days ago and uh, it's at 5.5 now. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I think, I think that the, uh, uh, I guess stopping the, the carbohydrates, uh, really made a big difference on that. And, uh, I'm going to continue to eat this way, this carnivore lifestyle, uh, for quite a while, I, probably for the rest of my life. Um, I feel like great. I'm feeling great. Um, although I probably have to get a selfie stick thing because my shoulders are getting tired of holding this camera up. Um, yeah. Uh, soon I'll talk about what I eat, um, and I'll show you what I eat and how I eat at restaurants when I do go to a restaurant. It's not that often that I do. And when I do, I can, I can choose to keep, continue to eat carnivore without any problems. All right, guys, just a quick little video. I'll tell you about my results on my A1C. Um, if you guys are out there struggling with that, um, give this, give this uh, carnivore diet a try. I'm not saying it's going to work for you. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> and I don't pretend to be one. So um, uh, you have to research that yourself. But, uh, you know, give it a try. All right, guys. Until next time, God bless.